All right, got a little Bud K unboxing. <laughs> it has been a while, but never say never. Got three items in here, two of the same. Uh, you'll see. And then I got one of those surprise bags again. Like I said, <laughs> never say never, I guess. But I wasn't really happy with the last few I've gotten, so it's been a while. Let's see what we got. Alright, first off, we'll show these real quick. These were on sale for $4.97 each. Some gun socks, uh, the silicone treated, moisture resistant. These are Black Legion or whatever. They're 52 inch by 4 inch. So these same ones, these are similar to what the Allen, you can buy the, the Allen brand from Walmart. Basically the same price. But it was free shipping, so free shipping, no tax, win-win, I need a couple. There's that. <laughs> Ooh, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> we may have actually come out okay on this one. <sighs> All right, we'll see. So this is the... This is the... Supposed to be a $25 value inside this bag. I uh, got it for $13.99. I'm no longer part of the buyer's club, so I don't get that 10% off anymore. But it was free shipping, so I thought I'd take a chance. This is their cheaper one. What is it? Uh, 35 BK bag one. That's what it's marked. <clears throat> Let's just uh, rip into this sucker. I've seen a few of these unboxings and it's been over the last couple months I was kind of looking at them and this was going around right here so let's go ahead and take a look at it a little red guardian kind of interesting a little combo set here oh that's pretty neat yeah you got your your cheap paracord kind of kind of interwrapped in there that's that's an interesting little design What is this made out of? Who knows? Made in the China. Just a cheap kicking around knife, basically. I don't know if mine was opened and then repacked or what, but it looks alright. Alright, this is pretty cool looking. Do have that kind of that cheaper paracord wrap here. With a little alien skull. <laughs> That's fun. Again, China. There's no markings on it, what type of steel it is, but it's probably something fairly cheap. Just probably a standard stainless steel. There's the number BV466 Tonto fixed blade and an assisted opening pocket knife set. I like it. It's kind of uh, interesting, unique, kind of. Just a standard nylon sheath. I have. I've actually seen a lot worse. This actually has a little bit of, of stiffness to it, so that's actually pretty nice. Nice big belt loops there. So that will do. That will do right there. Oh, maybe cut some paper with it later. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Ah, let me move this out of the way. First line survival makes these rubber band guns. They're freaking awesome. All right. What's next? What's next? Falcon knives. Hmm. Item KS6007 BK. It's probably going to be something fairly cheap, obviously, but oh, okay. It's a stiletto style. Basically, almost no edge on it. it barely has an edge. It does say it's 440 stainless. Uh, yeah, it's alright. I got a few stiletto style. This one's pretty heavy. Nothing to write home about. These little slabs here, they don't match up with anything. But. 
Flips open okay. This is kind of chunky. Huh. Okay. Well, there's that. What the heck is this? Some rotating D ring clip clips. Five pack. This is some type of carabiners. It's going to fit one inch Molly webbing. Easy attach to your gear. Easy attach gear to your backpack. I'll have to check these out and see how they work. Fairly cheap plastic though. So I don't think I would trust my gear to this bullshit at all. I thought it was breaking at first, but it actually clicks around. But yeah, I don't know. So that's just straight up garbage. Most of the M48 stuff is actually straight up garbage. Freaking Elite Force of Survival Saw. We've all seen these in different various forms. You might get a use or two out of them. That is probably the best way to go. Try to find a limb to do that. And what the hell is this? These are actually Kennedy half dollars. Legit. That they painted a uh, little tribute to Seabiscuit on it. So, there's that one. There's that one. You can see it's, these are legit. Now, I don't think these really have any value. Probably, I mean, they're worth probably 50 cents because you could <laughs> clean that crap off of it. But so that's easy. That's worth a dollar right there. But it's kind of interesting. Genuine legal legal tender, yeah, because it's U.S. Kennedy half dollar. They do come with these little stands, which is kind of neat. So it's kind of hard to demonstrate, but. So you can stand them up, right? That's that's kind of neat, kind of a novelty item. I don't really care. I did I did used to bet on the horses quite a bit, but I don't really care about Sea Biscuit. So there it is. Was it worth $13.99? That's kind of a stretch for me. 